Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful week. Now, uh, I'm in the kitchen today with Kate. Yay! And Kate is fellow Brit. Now, uh, but we're not in England, no. We are in sunny Los Angeles at the Tastemade Studios. Um, and I'm very happy to be here with you. We're very happy too. Because we thought we'd have a good idea to do um, something very quick and easy, which is basically one tray bake. So I've made the tray bake. One tray bake, two different frostings. It's a good idea. Very good. <laughs> so anyway, um, more about your I mean your channel, you do what tell everyone what you do. I do lots of like classic recipes like Victoria Sponge, mm. panna cottas, mm. um, pavlovas, things mm. like that. Yeah. So it's basically lots of baking and mm. deliciousness over our in the kitchen with Kate. That's on your apron there. <laughs> Check it out. So hit subscribe. Now uh, my my icing is actually just gonna be very easy. Um, because we're gonna do some decorating on our cakes too, because so this video will be for Halloween. And my, my icing is just going to be a simple chocolate ganache. So I've got semi, I've got some like dark chocolate chips. I'm going to heat some cream up. And I probably don't even need to tell you this, Kate. I mean, you know, <laughs> make a baking pro double cream in there. And I'm just going to do this so it's hot and not boiling, basically. So cream in there. And I also want to melt the butter down a bit. So I'm just going to add that in as well. So it's about a tablespoon of butter. Now, obviously I'm going to pour my hot cream into my chocolate. Just stir that until it melts. So that wasn't very hard. No, nope. that was really easy. We like easy, easy recipes. <laughs> but I know on your channel obviously you have a lot more complex baking things, which is also fantastic for people to know how. But people think they're complex, mm. like meringues. They're actually a lot easier to make than you think. And that's what people write to me on my comments as well. It's so much easier than you think. So. Well, there you go. But that's because you're showing everyone, so that's amazing. Right, I'm going to stir that till it's melted together. Now, do you want to cut our? This is the tray bake, and it's kind of, it's not that big, um, but we're going to share it. So we're going to cut it in half, and then we're going to do our two different icings. So you can cut that in half. That was actually from I did this chocolate Easter egg recipe, and so um, it's just it's just a really quite a nice moist like a, it's like a muffin recipe. Can we find of, that on your channel? Yeah, it's on my channel. It's under my. I'll put a link to that actual cake recipe there. I'm going to keep stirring this. It's just going to go nice and thick, and I'm going to spread it all over. What's your favourite type of like? What's your favourite baking thing? Um, what do you like doing the most? I love doing like a cake. Yeah. And also like decorating it because then seeing like the end result, it's like I made that. That's pretty cool. It but is actually, cool. it's nice and arty as well. Yeah, one of my favourites, just like doing Viennese wells. Have you ever made that? Ooh, I don't know if I've actually done those, but those are the really light, crispy, yeah, like, and they're amazing. so nice, they're just like melting your mouth. Oh my god, see I'm going to go and make those now yeah. from your channel. It's getting there, all of these delicate chocolate, right? Mm. So, so what made you want to do your own YouTube channel then? So I've always loved baking, I used to bake with like my friends, my family, um, yes yeah, so I just love baking and I love YouTube. I used to like watch YouTube all the time. Cool. An interesting fact, I actually used to subscribe to Caroline before I even had a baking channel. And then I realized we're both on Taste Made. I was like, no way. So, Yay, so now we've met. Yeah. We've met and we're collaborating. <laughs> In LA. In Los Angeles, crazy. Yeah. We do love YouTube. I'm gonna cut my half of the tray bake into squares actually. And I, I do like doing things like tray bakes because it's busy. So this recipe would be very good for anyone short on time. I'm going to just chop this and then you can help me drizzle chocolate all over them. Right, I'm going to just drizzle now. So I'm going to coat mine all the way around. And then I'll put these in the fridge just to like set a bit as well. This is good fun. And people with kids out there, you can uh, just uh, get everyone to join in. And I get the kids to uh, decorate. I'm exactly. sure they'll love the mess as well. Actually, you know what would be nice is to see what everyone else makes for Halloween. So if you are going to do this recipe, take photos and tag us because we want to see. Baking is, I do actually really like baking. I find it relaxing. It's therapeutic. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, so good. Although sometimes it's a bit stressful if it's like a new recipe or something. If you're burning things, that's stressful. I've done that before. I think we're nearly there. Better. I think this icing probably would have been enough to do the whole cake. Yeah. 
That's looking good. I mean, it's looking like a complete mess, but we're just going to pop these into the fridge just to kind of make it go a little bit harder. We need to be in there literally like mm, two, three minutes, not a long time. And now to make my um, my things all Halloween-y, I'm going to make, this is going to be quite funny, I'm going to make some crazy bunnies. <laughs> um, evil bunnies, actually, because I've got a bunny cutter and it inspired me. No cute bunnies here. Okay. So I've got some fondant icing. You can buy this at uh, most supermarkets. And this is just white. So I'm gonna roll some of this out. And we're just gonna have some fun now making these. Biggest rolling pin we've ever seen. Stuff. This is this stuff's great to like do stuff. Yeah, you can literally anything. do anything with fondant. Yes. It's amazing. Play -Doh. So I just want a thin layer and then I'm going to cut out make evil bunnies. I feel like she's doing an evil laugh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kate did the evil laugh. I <laughs> buy this specifically for making yeah. evil rabbits. I just thought as we were doing a Halloween. I think you can pretty much turn anything evil to be honest. <laughs> so any sugar cookies you have, um, you know, templates you have, you can reuse those. It's a good idea, right? Yeah. Yeah. Getting a bit border witches. Yeah. Spiders. So I've got a tube of some black icing. So any kind of black food colouring, I guess, would be fun. Maybe you could chop one of the ears off. <laughs> That's a good idea. I think have you should a dead, do that. Have yeah. a dead one. That is great. That is really quite evil. <laughs> Sorry, That's, That's a good funny. one. It's good fun. We like doing it. I love doing it. Oh no, my ear probably won't fit on. <laughs> That's why I'm just be drooping off the side of the cake. <laughs> and you need hardly anything for this recipe, do you? I mean, that's some really easy, fondant. Exactly. I like easy. Me too. I like chocolatey. I like crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Evil. <gasps> What's exciting? I'm, uh, I'm genuinely excited about this. Is it really good? So anyway, I hope you enjoy making these at home. I hope it's given you a bit of um, crazy bunny inspiration for Halloween. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to hop over to Kate's channel to see what crazy Halloween stuff she's going to do.